Hi Flosstube, it's Rebecca here, Stitching Becca. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today is the 28th of May and I'm here for my May update. Um, I can't believe that May is soon over. Uh, it's been a lot happening in May. Uh, so I'm kind of happy with my progress. Uh, I have a finish uh, to show you, a small one, but a finish. Uh, and I have some whips. And I made my own cross stitch, cross stitch journal. So I will talk a bit about that. Uh, but I will talk about it at the end, uh, if you're not interested uh, in that. Um, and it's kind of bright. Uh, and sunny, so I hope it won't be uh, too bright, but we'll just see. Uh, we had uh, watched my son, he plays soccer, so we was at the soccer game this uh, morning. And now my, now my hubby is away fishing with a friend and my kids are inside. Um, I think you probably can hear them. So if there is any interruptions, you know why. Uh, okay, so, uh, and I have some haul as well. Um, and very happy I've got that, uh, what I've got. Uh, and yeah, I show it at the end. Anyway, uh, I thought that I would start to share my finish with you. And it's this one. It's called uh, We Sing With You and it's by Fiddlesticks. Um, I bought this pattern on Etsy and uh, the seller created it and sold it for like a week. And the profit uh, they got from the pattern they donated to the Red Cross Ukraine. Um, I think it's it's a beautiful pattern. Very happy with it. I was kind of uh, scared of um, that the bird would blend in uh, with the fabric, but um, I think it turned out okay. Uh, I'm happy with how it ended up. Um, so. It's always nice uh, with a finish now and then. Uh, then I, let's see, I worked a bit on my son's piece. It's called Link Silhouette by Shoko Koko Stitch on Etsy. It will look like this when finished. And this is how it looked like before. Now it looks like this. So as you can see, I stitched the cloud and one of the hills. And here are a navy. Um, I haven't, I was tempted by filling her in, but I haven't yet. Um, so very excited about her coming, showing. Um, very happy with this piece. Uh, I think it it turns out really pretty. Um, yeah, uh, I will continue working on this this month, uh, and my goal will be to stitch this hill over here. And then I'm down to the forest. So yeah, I hope I can keep up with that. Okay, so uh, then I had a new start. Uh, I finally, I think I talked about this, this in my last floss tube. Uh, Fiber Arts Amy here on floss tube had an uh, birthday sale uh, 
with the hashtag. Uh, I will just wrote it down here. And it was to start or work on something that you have procrastinated, that you should have uh, thought of having started but never gotten to. And uh, I started Sabrina uh, by Mirabilia and I have been thinking of starting her for like two years so I, th <laughs> I thought she qualified. Um, here she is. Gorgeous. Uh, now when I've, sta I've gotten her started I realize how huge this dress is. So yeah. And uh, I haven't gotten super I haven't gotten super much done but uh, here are her back and here are the flowers so you can kind of see with the back of a skirt and then how the skirt like foldings go forward I don't know uh, I like how she turns out the colors pop on this fabric um, yeah so we'll see I'm hoping uh, to get some more stitches in this piece this month as well um, but we'll see um, okay so um, today is Sunday and I started to work some more on my Native American Maiden uh, it's getting closer to a finish um, and I can feel that you know excitement when you feel like I can finish this soon I really can um, so I don't want to take her off the Q-snaps and um, I'm thinking small goals um, this is the one I'm talking about um, it's by Joan Elliott and it's absolutely beautiful um, so this morning I thought that well you know what I'm gonna stitch that rabbit um, here she is so if you can see there I've started the rabbit uh, and the goal is to have, her, have it finished uh, hopefully today uh, then I have the deer and some tets and backstitch and beading and crane it well yeah you know uh, but um, it's a lot left but So I will see if I can finish that rabbit today and yeah, small goals. Uh, it would be so nice to have her finished this year. Um, yeah, that was what I have worked on in May. Uh, it's not uh, super much, uh, but it's been a lot <laughs> in May, so I'm very happy with how far I've got. Uh, okay, so uh, I started my own stitching journal. Um, I have been wanting to get that, um, what is it called? Um, stitch, cross stitch of days, days or stitch, you know, the monthly journal where you can put in your uh, progress on your whips uh, and some notes and I've seen a lot of stitchers like decorating with stickers and stuff. Uh, before I got super into stitching, I was very into 
uh, scrapbooking and card making and I have all that stuff left because I would love to start uh, with that hobby again uh, but so you haven't I haven't really wanted to sell everything off uh, and when I saw book of days I think it's called the book of days um, you know it it strikes that nerve in me that wow I want to decorate with stickers and uh, write down what I'm stitching on I think I, it's kind of fun I think uh, however I don't want to spend a fortune on that book because I only could order it from the States or England and with the taxes and import fees it's just like no never uh, so I had a notebook uh, with blank pages in my stash that's another thing about me I love notebooks <laughs> I have if I see a nice notebook uh, I kind of buy it because it's pretty <laughs> I'm weird uh, I just love I love notebooks um, and anyway I made my own so this is January and my my thoughts are I drew it up uh, all the days and then I have a blank page uh, because I thought that I could put in pictures uh, of what I worked on or uh, finishes and just uh, it would be nice to see some progress photos uh, but we'll see uh, here is February not much stitching at all only three days thankfully I have a, a tracker uh, I in my uh, calendar that I use uh, I have a cross stitch tracker that I every day I stitch I mark it so I see how much I've stitched uh, and together with that um, and Instagram where I put up fairly regularly regular yeah uh, I put up progress pics and I can kind of figure out where I stitched what um, here is March, a bit more stitching, um, and I love, you know, like have a theme by, with, with the stickers. March is kind of, and see here the M is, um, it's like wooden branches with no leaves yet on them. Um, and the bees and bugs start to come out. It starts to grow. Um, then we have April with it's my favorite uh, flower, the tulips. Um, and the ladybug starts to show up, came out. And I can also write some notes if it's something special that I want to write down. In April, I did a lot of stitching. Um, I had a lot of stitchy time um, and I haven't gotten any further so I'm gonna draw up uh, May and the rest of the year of course um, yeah so if uh, you have a notebook you don't use you can easily make it your make your own cross stitch uh, journal uh, then I I have seen this sticker books so <laughs> I, I couldn't resist um, all the stickers you saw in my journal is from this book uh, the antiquarian sticker book and it's massive it's so many stickers I won't flip it through it's a lot if you just um, search on this on YouTube you get a 
you can see videos where people go through them. Um, and I also got the uh, Botanist sticker anthology and I kind of like this more. Uh, it has some beautiful flower uh, uh, flower stickers in them. Um, yeah, people have made flips, flip throughs of this as well. Uh, so, uh, I think it's very fun uh, to decorate and uh, flip through the sticker book and see which, which stickers you want to use and everything. Um, it appeals to my crafty side. Uh, okay, so Bluebell went OOP. Uh, that was kind of unexpected. Uh, like every time some shards went goes OOP, but um, and as usual, it kind of disappears uh, like that. Um, and we have a, um, a cross stitch shop here in Sweden um, called uh, Rodrikorgen uh, that has a lot of Nora Corbett and Mirabilia patterns um, and a lot uh, more. Uh, so if you are living in Sweden, I can highly recommend that shop. Uh, so I messaged uh, the owner uh, and I asked her if she will, uh, she, if she has Bluebell on order because it was sold out in her shop. And she replied and said that yes I have ordered it but I don't know if it will be included and now that it went OP. Um, so it went a couple of weeks and then I got a, a mail, email from her saying that uh, she has it and she has put it up in her shop. So I just went in and uh, bought a copy. Uh, so I think she's beautiful and I'm very lucky to have her. Uh, and I'm looking forward to stitching her. I will see if I have some fabric match her up with so I can start her um, and the shark can't go alone so I also bought uh, Moonlight Lugana Mermaid I love this shark she's beautiful um, a couple of months ago I was on eBay it's dangerous to be on eBay <laughs> uh, and I saw a Yuku uh, seller from uh, England uh, selling some OOP Mirabilia shards. And the starting price was very low. Um, so I thought for myself, well, I will try to make an offer. And if I get it for the price that I think it's okay, uh, even with the in, as a import taxes and everything to Sweden to get the package, it will still be uh, a very reasonable and cheap price. Uh, I managed to uh, win two of her uh, shards. This one, I'm very excited about both of them, but this was the one I really wanted and it's called Enchanted Dreamer. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I love her dress, I love her face, I love her everything. Um, so I'm very happy to have her. And then I also bought uh, My Lady's Garden. Um, yeah. Uh, so that was my haul. Um, and that's what all I have uh, to show you today. Um, I hope you liked what you, uh, what I worked on this month. Um, 
plans for next month uh, is to, like I said, I want to get some pro more progress on link silhouette. Uh, I want to get some more stitches into Sabrina to have like a nice start on her before I put her away. Um, and I want at least to finish the rabbit on Native American Maiden that should be finished like in a couple of days. Uh, and then I see if I put her away for a bit or if I maybe start with the deer. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Um, also, like when it is this bright and sunny out here, uh, I feel like starting um, my uh, Tracking Along series by Stitching with the Housewives. I'm stitching, I've stitched uh, one of their shards, the Sinia seeds, on black or charcoal fabric. And it's really hard on the eyes, but out here I'm stitching it in hand and uh, it's very nice lighting out here. So I want to start. Uh, I have one shard of the Tracking Along series. Uh, and I'm really would love to would love to start that one. Um, yeah. So, but we'll see. Um, I have four more weeks uh, before I go on my vacation, so that's really nice. Uh, things are slowing down at work. Um, so, yeah, we will see. I'm hoping for more of this kind of weather uh, so I can sit out here. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope everyone is well uh, and getting a lot of stitching in. And I want to say, say thank you for your comments, uh, your likes, uh, your uh, to the ones who subscribes to my channel and I will see you next time. So happy stitching. Goodbye everyone.